lovelies. So today, um, I'm getting ready to wrap all of my Christmas gifts, like get them, you know, in the bags or boxes, whatever they're going in. And before I did that, I wanted to show you guys, share with you guys what me and my husband bought everyone uh, this holiday season. So uh, this video is being filmed super early. Well, not super early in the year. Um, don't have my phone on me, but I believe today is the 9th of December. Uh, me and my husband are going home to be with family uh, uh, coming up next week. We'll be leaving, so I wanted to have all of my gifts wrapped and ready to go before we left. Uh, and today just so happened he sprung on me. I got a free day today, nothing to do, so I decided I'd go ahead and work on that and I'd share with you guys what we got everyone. So, uh, if you want to see what we purchased everyone for Christmas, then just stay tuned. So, this is going to go in no particular order. I'm just going to kind of show what's closest to me and get that done first. So, the first gift I have uh, is for my younger sister. She came down and visited me back in, I want to say the beginning of July. And while she was here, she... Uh, I took her to some of the stores in town, like little boutiques and whatnot, uh, that aren't in the town that she lives in, and she found this item that she really, really wanted, but she didn't wind up getting it. So when she left, I went back and got it for her as her Christmas gift. So it is this little bitty pouch, makeup purse, I would say. It's really good for makeup or like little change purse, whatnot, little wallet. Uh, it is from, let's see, this is the brand Cat's Eye. And it says Dazzle on it and has a little pig with a tiara on it. She has this thing with her boyfriend. I'm uh, not really sure about it, but I just know that they have this thing where like, she really likes pigs for some reason. Not sure. So uh, she loves pigs. So I thought this was a really cute gift. And like I know she wanted it. Um, yeah, so that's what I wound up getting her. Uh, I hope she likes this. I feel kind of bad because it is all that we got her. Uh, but I think she'll like it. I mean, I know she wanted it, so I hope that she really does enjoy this. But this is what we got her. Just says Dazzle on the front. It is, uh, plastic, so. And it was, uh, I'm not gonna say how much things were, because it was from a little boutique in town, so. I, I know I have seen this online from other places. So, I'm sure if you look it up, you might be able to find it somewhere. But the store here is just owned by some local people and I think they just order things in bulk from other places. So that's what we got her. And then the next gift that I have in front of me, um, I'll show you both of them. I got two of these, one for my parents and then one for my husband's parents, mostly his mom. Uh, so we aren't living, clearly we're not living in the same town as them and there's this little museum in town that a lot of times will have products like handmade products from people out in town and they'll sell them there and that's what these are these are little Christmas ornaments these are hand painted glass Christmas ornaments from a lady who lives here in town this is what one of them looks like I thought it was really pretty I love the snow it does have uh, her little initial on it and then on the bottom it does say the town that we live in in Arizona um, these are really cute. I, I really like this. I know that my husband's mom in particular really, really loves getting like little keepsake things from different locations that she's been. Uh, like I know she likes to collect like uh, postcards and t-shirts which you'll see in a minute and all that kind of stuff that she likes to have them for places she's been and she's visited this town before. So that's why I got her one. And then I also, I really know that my parents enjoy that kind of stuff as well. And a couple, when, when my family moved from Georgia to Kansas, all of our Christmas uh, decorations were lost. And uh, over the years, we had made and collected so many like handmade ornaments that we made when we were children and things like that. And all, of, like I said, all of those were lost. We had these beautiful, elaborate stockings that my Nana had hand sewn for all of us. And it was really sad. It was really, it had, like, it's honestly really tragic. I know it was just things, but they had a lot of sentimental value to them. And so my parents are, have over the years have been trying to like 
build up their collection of ornaments and things like that again and this and so I got them one of these as well because I figured it was just a nice little gift and it's a little more special than this buying than just buying ornaments from Walmart which is honestly <laughs> where all of my ornaments are from except for one I bought one little bitty ornament for my puppy the other day it has her name on it um but I don't know. I want I want to get some ornaments like this for myself. I figure before we leave here, I'll probably try to get in contact with this lady and uh, see if she still makes them and I can get one. And here's the other one that I got. I love the colors of both of these. And I think my favorite part of them is all the glitter, to be honest. I love glitter on, on Christmas ornaments. I love when they hit the light and they shine. And the packaging on these is super cute, too, because they come in like... A little they're nestled in like this uh, lace it's really cute I, I don't know I just like them I really like them a lot uh, and probably will wind up going back at some point and buying one for my own tree but so I got that's one of their gifts I normally well last year we did like we do like a combined gift for all of our parents like each set of parents and I last year I did a com combined gift for my older sister and her fiance boyfriend I'm not sure if they were engaged back then, but I think they were. Um, so I did a combined gift for them. Uh, this year I didn't do that with them. Uh, when I saw these, honestly, the first people that popped, they were kind of expensive, and the first people that popped into my head were my husband's mom and my mom and dad. Uh, so I did get them this little combined gift. I think last year the combined gifts that I gave people were like handmade. Um, but this year I got separate gifts for my sister and her fiance, so. Uh, my older sister her fiance but that's the first gift I got for my for the parents and then the second gift that we got we bought um so like I was saying how my uh, mother-in-law really enjoys collecting different things from places she's been one of the things she's really into collecting is Harley Davidson shirts and I don't believe she ever got one from this town when she came and visited. And even if she did since then, because that's been several years, she has gone through an amazing transformation, lost a ton of weight, and so she's needing clothes that fit her now. So we wanted to go ahead and get her a new one. And while we were at it, we also got his dad one. So we, both, we got them both these Harley shirts. This is the one for his dad. Just says Harley Davidson, and then it has... Uh, like skeleton I don't know why that was like escaping my mind a skeleton riding a motorcycle on it and then on the back it does say where it's from uh, I'll just show it says that and then it has a picture of the little museum here in town uh, so that's the shirt that we got for his dad and then the one that we got for his mom is similar both like I said both of these do say that's the thing about Harley shirts that's pretty cool is on the back of them they do say where you are purchasing them from and so hers is just a white shirt this was my favorite which is why we went with this one like I don't really know much about her style or his style but when we were sitting up there like looking at him I kept telling my husband like I really like this one and he said that he thought she would like this one too so we went with this one it's a white one it just has a motorcycle on it and then on the back it just says the name of the store and the town that we live in so that's the gift that's the, like their separate gift that we got for both of his parents um trying to keep everything in the bags because my house is constantly getting dirt in it i don't want everything to get dirty so that's what we got for them and then uh the next gift i have here is the one that i got for my older sister so I don't know I find I, it's really hard to buy for people unless I specifically know things that they've asked for like the gift that I got for my little sister she specifically said she wanted that so I really didn't know what to get my older sister but I know she really liked the show that was on ABC called Once Upon a Time so hot topic at one point during the how like September October they were selling these Once Upon a Time bows I'm not sure if they still are selling them but I went ahead and I got her this one because I know she likes hair bows. I know, like, it's something I feel like she'll like. But I also know that she said she's said before that Rumpelstiltskin is her favorite character. And I don't think you'll be able to see. But let me see if I can get my camera to focus. 
Uh, it doesn't want to focus. But anyway, on this little blade in the center here, this little sword, it does say Rumpelstiltskin on it. It's very, very tiny, so that's why the camera can't focus on it. So there were several there, and I thought she really would like any of them, to be honest. But I know that she said that Rumpelstiltskin's her favorite character. So that's the bow we went with um, for her. And then, let's see. I'm my mother's gift, I won't be showing you guys. Uh, I am making her gift, and... I was hoping to have her gift made completely before I filmed this video so that I could show you guys. But there's been a lot of uh, a lot of bad things happening this week that's kind of just made it impossible for me to get the rest of the supplies that I need. But I am going to be putting up a video showing you exactly how I made her gift. So if you're curious as to what I made for her, then you can just watch that video. It'll show you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the next couple gifts. Oh, here we go. This will be easier. Oh, so, and then another gift I don't have on hand to show you for his brother, my husband's brother. Um, we, my husband recently got a new phone and his old phone wasn't messed up. The only thing that was messed up about his old phone was he had cracked the screen pretty badly. So, and his, he had been up for a contract for a long time. So we went ahead and got him a new phone, but it was a perfectly fine phone. And his younger sister has a little uh, I don't know if hers is an actual I, iPhone or if it's an, um, an iPod or not, like the iPod Touch. I'm not sure, but she's had one for a while now, and his younger brother hasn't, and he's really been wanting one. So we went ahead and paid for the screen, like a replacement screen, and got the screen fixed for, it's an iPhone 5S, but he'll be using it as like an iPod iPod. I keep wanting to say iPad. He'll be using it as like an iPod, that kind of thing. So that's what we got for him. Um, it's put up somewhere so it doesn't get broken and I kind of, I forgot about it until I sat down to be honest So the next thing that we got this is for my sister my older sister's fiance. We got him uh, once again didn't really know what to get him, but I talked to my parents and My mom had said how they got these cups and how he had been showing an interest in it So I went ahead and I got him one and these are like if you've seen like the Yeti cooler cups This is like an off-brand. This is the from the brand Ozark trail. It's a 30 ounce Vacuum insulated, power coated stainless steel tumbler. Basically, it's just supposed to keep your cold drinks really cold and your hot drinks really hot. My mom and dad have had one for quite a while now and they say these work wonderful. You can get these from Walmart. So I just went ahead and got him of this black one. Um, he's really hard to buy for just because I, I really don't know. Like, thing. Well, I know that he likes video games, but they don't always have a console. Like, uh, I think. I know at one point they had a console, but then I asked my sister if they had it, and she said they don't have it anymore. So that was my original plan was to get them games, but so I couldn't figure out what I wanted to get them. And when I talked to my mom, she said that would probably be a good gift. So that's what we got for him. And then for my husband's younger sister or my sister-in-law, uh, we asked her what she wanted, and she kept pointing out like different lotions and things like that. So I found this little Burt's Bees. Uh, it says Tips and Toes. It's a Tips and Toes kit. Uh, from Walmart, it comes with, let's see, what does it have in it? It has a hand salve, an almond and milk hand cream, a lemon butter cuticle cream, a coconut foot cream, a honey and grape seed hand cream, and a pomegranate moisturizing lip balm. So I know that she said that she likes Burt's Bees products before, and I don't know, I felt like this was a cute little gift set. It smells so good, like, it's just been sitting in the bag since I bought it. But it just, like, you can just smell how everything smells so good. I really like Burt's Bees product, too, so I feel like this is something she likes. Uh, his brother and sister are at that awkward stage where they're, they're getting out of the phase of, like, liking toys and things. But not quite old enough to, like, 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 old, like, adult toys, I guess. I don't know. It's, they're, they're at an awkward stage. They're getting older, and eventually they'll get to that stage where it's really easy to buy for them. But it's kind of hard right now. Uh, so that's what we went ahead and got her. Um, there's something, okay, so then for, I have one nephew and two nieces who are, they're still pretty young, they're four and under, and so for them, uh, I went ahead and got them all one toy and one outfit. So the toy that I got for my nephew is just, he's been begging for a motorcycle or an airplane or a helicopter forever. So I got him this little helicopter set. Um, it comes with 
a big helicopter. It looks like it comes with like the blades and all that for the propellers. Comes with two little, I, I think these, yep, these are army men with their weapons and a motorcycle down at the bottom. He's not really into like guns and things like that, but he really likes helicopters. And this was the biggest helicopter I could find at any store. So I, I think he'll like this. So we went ahead and got him that. I was really disappointed I couldn't find him a better toy, but he's little, he'll like it. And then my nieces, well, he, it's his too, but they mostly play with it. They have this kitchen center that they got, uh, I don't even remember when. Um, and they're constantly needing new things for it. So I got them. This is for my youngest niece. This is a 40-piece little food and kitchen set. It comes with some pans and some pots and a little bitty food. And this is an extra stove. I don't know that they'll play with that. But they, I know they needed some, like, silverware, things like that. And that kind of, it kind of has some of that stuff in it. Um, so that was for my youngest niece. They'll both wind up playing with it, but I got them both a gift. And then for my oldest niece, we got this, which is really going to be hard to show on camera. But it is a 56-piece food set. So it just has 56 different kinds of food toys like there's some box food canned food thing like that it's all plastic so i don't know i just thought that it's a cute little toy and like i said they needed some new stuff for their kitchen center and then for their outfits for my nephew we got him this outfit but let's see if i can get it out the bag so it is just this little um polo assassin outfit it's a three-piece outfit it comes with this nice little button-down shirt and then it also comes with a nice little t-shirt on the back. And then just a pair of blue jeans, some really nice blue jeans. I got all of their toys and outfits from Ross. And honestly, Ross has some really, really nice quality children's clothes for really good prices. Like this is normally, I can show you. This is normally a $30 outfit and I got it for $15. So, um... Oh, just kidding. This is normally a $53 outfit. It still has the original tags on it, but I got it for $15. Like I said, really, really nice quality clothes, They, uh, but they're just nice and they're cheaper. So, and I, I'm one of those people that has a hard time spending a ton of money on kids' clothes because they're children, they're constantly growing, you know what I mean? Like, why do I want to spend 50 something dollars on an outfit that he'll be able to wear for like maybe one or two more years at most? So, I don't know, that's just me. And then for the girls, I got the matching outfit, so I'll just show you the smaller one. Um, yeah, this is, this is not the smaller one. I'm trying it. The smaller one's easier to show on camera. So like I said, I got the matching outfits, and it is just this cute little pink and gray sweater top. It has this nice flower lace, and then a little bow, and it kind of comes out like a little dress at the end. And then it comes with these nice little gray pants on the back. Um, one of the only things I can say is it was really hard to find the girls, like, jeans or, like, really thick pants. Almost every outfit I found had these, like, kind of thin, flimsy pants, which, where they live, it gets extremely cold, so they needed more pants, but I, I literally couldn't. I only found one pair of jeans for the girls the whole trip, and it was almost at, just as expensive as buying the full outfit. So I just went ahead and got the full outfit. At least, at the very least, they still have a pair of pants with these. And they can always layer. So, like I said, I got the matching outfits. So those are their outfits. And then, let's see. I only have a couple more gifts for my younger sister's boyfriend. We got him uh, this. I have no idea if he'll like this at all. It's a Kenneth Cole reaction it's a tri trifold ugh, trifold wallet this is what it looks like and it just opens up like so um i didn't like i honestly forgot to get him something and i feel obligated just because he's living with my little sister so i feel like kind of obligated to give him a gift uh plus i got him one last year and it was a lot of fun so that's what we got him uh, i'm gonna go through this last gift quickly because my camera's overheating the last gift that we have is for my dad so something you should know about my dad he uh, I don't know, he's really hard to shop for, but I know he's really into, like, weird foods and not necessarily, like, weird, just, like, weird to us, I guess. And also, he's really into, like, Japanese and just Asian, like, foods or snack foods, and he loves trying new things. 
And so there's this little Asian market in town and I went there and I bought a bunch of food. Some things I know he's had before, so I know he'll like. And then other things I don't think he's ever tried before, so stuff for him to try. So the first thing that I got him is this mixed crackers. It's from Hoppy. It's a party mix. I know he loves this party mix. He gets it anywhere he can, any brand he can. He loves this party mix. So it's just a nice little can of it. And then I also, because I didn't realize I picked up two, the same brand, just a little bag. It's the same thing though. I didn't realize I picked up both. And then this is another thing I know he's had before. I'm pretty sure he liked it. These are shrimp crackers and they just look like this. Um, um, so the next thing that I got him are these prepared shredded squid. Um, that's what they look like. Just like little fried squid that looks like it's, you know, clear, it's clearly been shredded. Um, and then I also got him, this is where we get into some of the stuff that I would consider weird, but I feel like my dad will really like it. This is crispy seasoning anchovies with sesame on them. This is what they look like. Uh, my dad really likes fish. So, I don't know, he might like these. He might not, he might hate them, but I know he'll try them because... He's that kind of person. <laughs> and then this one is Seasoning Yellow Stripe. And once again, it's just dried fish snacks. Like, kind of like jerky, but for fish. And then I got him uh, these. These are potato chips, but they are seaweed and salt flavored potato chips. And let's see, what else do we have in here? Um, oh yeah, these are Snow Pea Crisp. I'm pretty sure he's had uh, like the green bean crisps that you can get from like Walmart and stuff and I'm pretty sure he liked those and I know he likes snow peas so I figured he might enjoy these I don't know uh, like I said I don't know if he'll enjoy any of these but and then uh, I also got him these barbecue cracker nuts I don't I never had these before but to me they remind me of corn nuts uh, I don't know if he'll like these at all. I don't think he likes corn nuts. I don't know that they are corn nuts, though. Um, that's just what I thought of when I saw them. And then the last two things I got him are sweet, and I'm pretty sure he'll enjoy these. This is a peanut butter, or not peanut butter, this is a peanut cake, and it's really just like peanut brittle. If you've ever had peanut brittle before, that's what it looks like to me, and I know he loves peanut brittle. And then the last thing I'm sure all of you have heard of, these are Pocky Sticks, but I got him the Almond Crush Pocky Sticks. I love Pocky Sticks. I pretty much love all of them. Uh, I don't think he's ever had them before, but so I got him that. That's what I got him. Um, there's only one gift left that I have to get, and that is the gift for my husband. Uh, I don't have that yet. I'm waiting until we get home like where we're going before I get his gift but I already know what it is I'm going to be buying for him uh Final Fantasy 15 for the Xbox One um there's so many games out right now that he wants but that's the one that I feel like he wants the most so that's what I'm going to be getting him other than that that is all the gifts that we got for everyone like I said if you would like to see the gift that I'm making for my mom uh, I don't know when that video will come up I'm hoping to post this video on Christmas Day because by then everyone will have opened their gifts and I'm not worried about them seeing the video. Um, and I'll probably try to post that video the week after maybe. So if you're curious to see what I made my mom, how I made it, just, you know, uh, wait for that video. But anyway, that's going to be it for me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. One little thing I just want to say, if you can't afford to buy your family presents don't feel bad um i me and my husband are in a situation where a financial situation where we are lucky enough to be able to buy people presents and i always you know not always but if i'm in that situation i want to always be able to give back and my parents have paid for me paid for so much stuff for me and uh, my sister you know she has three children so she doesn't um doesn't necessarily get a lot of stuff for herself and my younger sister she <laughs> we always joke with her about her being greedy but honestly she she's very thoughtful when it comes to gifts and I just I, I enjoy being able to give back to people which is why that we do buy Christmas gifts for everyone but I don't ever expect anything in return honestly last year we didn't think we were going to be able to buy anyone anything and most of the gifts that I gave people were homemade gifts um, 
And if that's all you can do, then that's all you can do. You know what I mean? If all you can do is make something for someone, they're going to enjoy it no matter what. You know, because I think that's the thing that we, as we get older, we learn that Christmas isn't about what we get. It's about spending time with each other. And honestly, for me, I have more fun giving to people than I do getting things or receiving things. So don't ever, don't ever be discouraged if you can't afford to get people things. I honestly... It's, re it's really not a big deal. And if you ever have someone in your life that makes you feel like it's a really big deal, you know, maybe talk to them if there's someone close to you. But if they're honestly not close to you, then maybe just cut them off because you really don't need people like that in your life. Now, with that said, you know, kids will be kids. Kids are, for children, for them, it is about the things. And children, when we're younger, we're, you know, we don't really have a filter. We don't really understand things. We don't understand that it's not about what we get, you know. So for children, they're probably, a lot of them might, might be mean about what they receive. And I'm not excusing that behavior by any means. I know that when I was raised, we were raised to be grateful for any and everything that we were given. And I know that's how my sister is raising her children. And that's how I hope to raise my children. But just keep in mind that even no matter how much effort a parent puts into raising their kid a certain way, it's at the end of the day, the kid will either take it or they won't you know what i mean so if it's a child that's being kind of rude or mean to you or if it's even if you're younger and it's someone your age just keep in mind just be patient that's the that's what i can say i think that's the main thing that um i can say about that whole situation is just be patient with them they may not be grateful now but one day they will be grateful and if they aren't grateful then at the end of the day at least you were nice at least you put the effort in and did the most that you could and if you're one of those people that tends to you know not necessarily be super nice to people when they gift you things think about that maybe that's all the person could afford you know maybe they couldn't afford to get you anything but still spent their money to get you something so at the end of the day Christmas is not about what we get. It's not even about what we give to people. Um, you know, Christmas is about remembering Jesus' birth. That's the main thing. That's the whole entire point of the holiday. And if you're not, if you don't believe in that, if that's not your religion, then, you know, but you still celebrate Christmas, then it shouldn't be about the gifts. It should be about being able to spend time with people. So I'm going to go, you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful, amazing Christmas. And if I put this video for some reason, put this video up before Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing Christmas. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. Um, yeah, but that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and go. If you have any comments or questions, leave, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to read them. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day, and I will see you all next week. Bye.